In this video, I will demonstrate how to refinish a dining table. For complete and detailed instructions on how to use all of the products I will mention in this video, visit my website and search using the keywords how to refinish mahogany tabletop. I have written a detailed article that includes a complete list of tools and supplies that you should find helpful. The first step is to remove the old finish. I like to use citrus strip to do this. It comes in a spray can and it is very easy to use. After the old finish has been stripped, the surface needs to be thoroughly sanded. Start with 100 grit sandpaper and then gradually work your way to a finer grit sandpaper, finishing with 220 grit. Always be sure to sand in the direction of the wood grain. Before moving on to the next step, be sure to clean the surface so that it is free from all dust and loose particles. In order to ensure a smooth, even finish, the wood should be conditioned before it is stained. I use Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. It is applied using a brush. This product should be allowed to penetrate the wood for about 15 minutes. Next, remove any excess with a clean, dry cloth. Stain should be applied within two hours of the conditioner. I like to use Minwax Stain for my refinishing projects. This tabletop is mahogany and it was very red in color. I wanted to tone that down a bit so I chose to use English chestnut rather than red mahogany. English chestnut is a deep beautiful brown with only a tiny hint of red. Be sure to stir the stain thoroughly before and occasionally during use. Apply stain in the direction of the grain with a brush. Allow the stain to soak in for about 5 to 15 minutes to achieve desired color. The more time the stain is allowed to penetrate, the richer and darker the color will be. I let the stain sit for about 15 minutes. Then I removed any excess with a clean cloth. To get an even darker color, I applied a second coat of stain the following day. The final step is to apply a protective finish. I like to use Form B's traditional tongue oil finish. Put a small amount of tongue oil finish on a soft, lint-free cloth and rub it into the wood. For best results, apply a thin coat. Allow the oil to dry about 12 hours before buffing it lightly with a very fine steel wool pad. To build sheen and add protection, additional coats may be applied. I applied two layers of tongue oil to this table.